called me a liberal extremist, a socialist. Boy, are they blowing it up today. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're afraid of, but I have an idea. Welcome back to America Decides. That was Tennessee State Representative Gloria Johnson announcing her bid for U.S. Senate. She was a member of the Tennessee Three. That was a trio of Democratic lawmakers who Republicans tried to expel from the state legislature over their gun control protest on the House floor. Tennessee State Representative Gloria Johnson joins us now. Representative Johnson, it's great to see you. Well, it's great to be on. Thanks for having me. Of course. Um, Tennessee has not elected a Democrat to the U.S. Senate since 1990. And I wonder why you think that could change this time around. Well, the reason I believe that can change is because the Republican Party is not your granddad's Republican Party anymore. Um, they're very extreme. We see people all across this state that want something different. They're not happy with the extremism in the Republican Party. And in, currently in Tennessee, we have more Democrats and independents than we do Republicans. And what we are seeing from people, they are completely unhappy with being ignored. You know, when it comes to gun violence, 80% of Tennessee families wanted to see some gun sense legislation. And our supermajority just was not having it. And the reality is Marsha Blackburn is the same. And corrupt Marsha Blackburn is owned by the NRA and big pharma and insurance companies. We need someone who answers to the people. And, you know, I live in red East Tennessee. Districts were drawn to beat me and they spent hundreds and thousands of dollars doing it. And I have always been able to build a coalition to win folks and independents and Republicans as well. And I've always outperformed the top of the ticket. And I think with the way folks are feeling today, we are absolutely going to be, rep be able to replicate that statewide. You just brought up gun laws and uh, gun reform. Of course, that is why you may look familiar to many of our viewers, because you were, of course, one of the Tennessee three that stormed the House floor in your state. And I wonder how much of that is going to be part of your campaign. Um, I know you've also spoken about um, abortion at length as well and women's rights. So how would you describe what you're running on? Well, clearly it is a... a, a an agenda that the majority of Tennesseans agree with. They always try to paint me as some sort of radical, but the reality is all of the legislation that I have brought in the state house and what I will focus on in, um, in DC or in as a US Senator, I'm gonna be focusing on those issues that really affect people in their home and just lifting up and making sure that Tennessee families thrive by making sure they have access to affordable health care. And for women, that means reproductive choice uh, for them and their autonomy over their own bodies. And then 80% of Tennesseans, Republican, Independent, and Democratic, want to see gun sense legislation. I will continue to fight for that. In, in making sure that our public schools, that every child in every zip code has a great school to go to because there's so much going on now with privatizing our public schools, and we've got to make sure that we keep our public schools strong and that we're allowed to teach our factual history because democracy, the bedrock of democracy is, is public education. And we've got to make sure that we're improving it, but we also need to make sure that we're fully funding it and not draining tax dollars away for unproven, uh, ventures, quite frankly. Senator Marsha Blackburn, your opponent uh, that you just brought up, she, um, when it comes to abortion, says that you support it until, quote, after birth, which is something you have denied. So I wonder what is your stance on abortion and what do you want the Tennessee law to be? Um, well, what she's talking about is murder. I want women to have bodily autonomy. I want decisions to be made in the doctor's office between women, their family, and their physician the way that we have been doing it. And women need access to abortion and sh abortion is healthcare. And, and late term abortion is something they always try to bring up, bring up. but it's, it's propaganda. When no one decorates their nursery and then decides to have an abortion, 
when there are those late term abortions, that's about traumatic situations and dangerous situations for a fetus or a mother. And they have got to make these tough decisions that no one wants to have to make, but medical um, diagnoses demand that something is done and lives have to be saved. And so those decisions sometimes have to be made. But what we can do to make sure that women are healthy going into pregnancy is make sure they have access to affordable care their whole lives. So they don't find themselves pregnant with no physician and um, just starting to get care after they become pregnant. We need to make sure we're taking care of people, but we also need to make sure that women have full autonomy over their own bodies or women are not equal if they do not. All right, Representative Johnson, thank you so much for your time today. Hope to have you back sometime. Thank you. I appreciate you having me.